happy with my performance. You know, I think I did, um, for me, it was 3-2. The second, fourth, and fifth were, were for me, but I'm not the judge, so, um, yeah, I'm not the judge. <laughs> yeah. um, the feeling coming in, I mean, everybody says, oh, it's just the same, it's another fight, but this was your first title defense, and it was this crazy Noche UFC night, so, I mean, what were the feelings, the emotions, everything? Was it, was it different tonight than it is in your other fights? Well, yeah, it was different. You know, it was my first main, main, main event, you know, in a, such amazing date um, in Las Vegas. I, I always wanted to fight here in this, this beautiful date, so um, it was really cool. I just, I'm just happy. I'm truly happy with my performance. Did it add any more nerves or pressure or just different than it normally feels when you get in there? No, I felt in home. You know, I knew that a lot of people from Mexico were, in, were here. You know, I, I felt the, the love and the, the power of all the cheering, all, all the energy, and I was, I was happy. Yeah. Your last fight was a battle with her. This fight was a battle with her. Um, was there anything in there that was different this time around? Anything you didn't expect that surprised you? No, I expected like everything, you know. Um, she's very competitive. I'm super competitive, and I was expecting this like a war. Yeah. Did you? I mean, as you guys were scoring, you said, "Is you're not judge, it's not your job." But what did you think going into the fifth round? Is, did you think you're ahead? I needed this. What was the feeling? Um, well, my coach said, "Hey, let's do this. You know, this fifth round, we're gonna make a statement." And that's what I did. Yeah. How close do you think you were to finishing it there? I was pretty close, you know, I did a, an amazing knockdown. I was close in a few positions, you know, to finish the fight and grand and pound. And um, I think I did a, a good, good fight. Yeah. She was frustrated because there was a 10-8 that made it a draw. Are you frustrated because you, round four, right, didn't go your way with two of the judges? You thought that was yours. So are you frustrated with the scoring? No, I'm not frustrated. You know, I, I did a, an amazing job, and that's what I'm taking now. Uh, last thing for me, I mean, she did have a, an injured hand that she said she hurt in the first round, so she doesn't know when she's going to fight. Um, but what do you think? I mean, does a trilogy need to happen, whether it be next or some point down the road, or do you care if this gets resolved? Uh, you know, it's an interesting question. Um, I wouldn't like to stop the, the division. You know, there's a lot of girls fighting a lot, you know, to, to have this opportunity like I did, so I wouldn't like to stop it. But whatever the UFC says, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Alexa, over here, other side. Oh, Alexa, you, you said that in the fifth, or just before the fifth, your coach had said, "Hey, let's do this." The way that they was there a sense of urgency? I mean, obviously, if they're telling you, "Let's do this, let's finish it," did you feel that there was a sense of urgency to finish it and and try to get the win outside of a decision? Uh, not like an urgency, but yeah, we wanted to be clear. Like the fifth round was was for us, you know, the championship rounds are amazing and, and that's why I train so hard, you know, for the fourth and the fifth to be my best rounds always. Thank you. Alexa, over here. Um, Valentina a lot in the lead up, she kept bringing up, you know, seven time Muay Thai champion, I wanna remind everyone, but she was, she shot for a lot of takedowns in there. Were you surprised that she wasn't as willing to stand with you and tried to make this a wrestling match? I was expecting that, you know, I know I, I always do damage with my hands and, and it's something I was expecting from her. Um, so yeah, I was, I was prepared. <laughs> After you dropped her in the first round or first or second round, did you get a sense of like her game plan might have changed because she did feel your power and it seems like after that she started to shoot for takedowns a lot more. Yes, of course, you know, when you have a, a good punch and you've, of course you have to change your strategy and, I'm, and I knew that she, she changed for that. Did you think any of those submissions that you were throwing up there, were any of them tight and were you surprised that she survived them? Uh, well, we're super competitive, you know, we are in the top of the division for one reason. And so yeah, I, I trained very hard and I know she did too, so um, I'm just happy that we both give you guys an amazing fight. Lux over here. Going into this fight, you received a lot of support from the fans here in town that at the ceremonial wins and obviously at fight night itself. How do you feel to be the star of the show this week? Oh, it, it's amazing, you know, it's um, my first main, main event, you know, not to FSC in such a, an amazing date. And um, I love all the challenges that UFC are giving to me. And I, I just train so hard for giving, you know, good results. And uh, after seeing this electric atmosphere inside the T-Mobile Arena, what's your message to Dana and the team if you were to try and convince them to make Noche UFC an annual occasion? 
I hope fans of the UFC, <laughs> if they want a trilogy, let's do this. If not, I would like to give an opportunity for another girl. I know how it is how it is to be fighting all the time, you know, to, to, to wait for your spot. And I wouldn't like to stop just the division, but whatever the UFC says. Yeah. But uh, if it was up to you, do you prefer a fresh matchup or a trilogy with Valentina? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just fought. I, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight right now. But um, I don't know. Whatever the UFC says, I'm I'm always up forever, and any challenge they put on me. And and the UFC did a great job in celebrating Mexican independence and its Mexican talent. Um, but Dana White hasn't said that this is going to be a recurring thing, an annual thing. Um, would you like for this to be an annual thing, given the success of the event and, and a, a date that you would like to fight in in the future as well? Honestly, yes, I would like to. I would love to. I mean, I hope this could motivate a lot of Mexican athletes to do their best, you know, to to win a spot in in this date every year. And I just hope that the UFC liked what all the Mexicans did tonight.